This video is a tutorial on how to make IBC transfers on Cosmos and how to swap tokens within your Kepler wallet. This is going to be a straightforward step-by-step -step tutorial. However, I've been getting a lot of requests on how to do this in my other Cosmos videos, so I figured I would just make a tutorial that I can share. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice. This is an educational tutorial, not a suggestion that you buy any of the cryptocurrencies I'll use in this demonstration. Now let's get into the video. All right, first, a little bit of background on what exactly an IBC ABC transfer is and what the Cosmos ecosystem is, because that's going to be important to understand what we're doing in this video. Basically, Cosmos is a large ecosystem of blockchains, and they're all connected using a protocol for transferring tokens between chains called the IBC. And here is a cool visual representation of the IBC. These are all of the networks that are connected to the IBC. We can see that, for example, if we select one, we see all the different networks that that one network is connected to or we can go back there's 59 chains here in total uh, and there's a lot of volume going between them right we can see there's hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars being moved between these chains constantly using that using that uh, ibc protocol and so basically what this video is going to show you how to do is how to transfer some value yourself and why might you need to do this well for example imagine you bought the token Atom, A-T-O-M, on an exchange, because most exchanges have Atom, and that's the most common way that people enter the Cosmos ecosystem. You might buy some Atom, and then you might want to convert some of that Atom for another token in the Cosmos ecosystem. Or you might want to send it to a chain like Osmosis to use in DeFi. And so, so to do that, you would need to do an IBC transfer from the Cosmos hub chain, where Atom is over here, Cosmos Hub, and you would need to do an IBC transfer over to Osmosis. And so that's what we're going to do in this video. First thing you'll need is a Kepler wallet. If you've never made an on-chain transaction, you need a web wallet, and Kepler is the go-to wallet for the Cosmos ecosystem. There are others. However, I use Kepler. It's the most common one, so that's what we're going to use in this video. And then you need to get some kind of funds in your Kepler wallet. For this demo video, I created a completely new wallet, so I have no funds in here at all except for a little bit of atom we got we've got a little bit of atom uh, about half an atom that i transferred over here and so first thing we're going to want to do is we want to do an ibc transfer from the cosmos hub over to osmosis so to do that i open my kepler wallet by clicking on it over here i click on atom and then I am going to select IBC send. So see how this is send by default. I'm switching to IBC send, and then you select the chain you want to send it to. I'm going to choose Osmosis, and Osmosis is useful for a couple of reasons. First off, you can swap that atom for basically any other token on Cosmos. Second off, Osmosis allows you to use different tokens as gas. Not any token, but they allow you to do, use a variety of different tokens as gas. So for example, you can use your atom to pay for transaction fees once you're on Osmosis. All right, I'm not going to send all of it. I have 0.5. Always a good idea to leave a little bit to pay transaction fees later in case you need to, but I'm going to send 0.4. Next, and I click approve, and that is all. The transaction is pending. It may take a few seconds. You can see it already says success right here. Probably in a couple seconds, this atom is going to, it's still going to be in our wallet, but it's going to appear. There it is. Look. So now we have the original atom, and then we have this other atom that says IBC. That means that is an atom that has been transferred by IBC to another chain. And then you see below this, it says atom on osmosis because this atom has been transferred to osmosis. So now we have 0.0968 atom on Cosmos Hub, and then 0.4 on osmosis. And the difference here is because of the transaction fee. All right, and so then let's see, we have some atom on osmosis. Let's say I want to convert 0.3 of this atom over to TIA tokens. We love Celestia. So it's 0.15 TIA. We're going to swap it. And you can see here that by default, because I have atom in my wallet, it is offering to pay for the transaction fee in atom. There's, you can use Osmo as well but we're going to pay for an atom. We're going to approve the transaction. And then the reason we're doing this is that then 
we can then do an IBC transfer of the TIA over to Celestia, just to show you how simple that is. So now we can select the TIA on Osmosis, and we want to transfer it over here to Celestia. So I click on TIA, IBC, I click on IBC Send, I click on Celestia, and I'm going to do the maximum amount. Approve. And let's see, this should again just take a second. I'm going to close out this one from before. And it was already a success. And so you can see that this is part of why Cosmos is cool is because all these different chains, you can just seamlessly make IBC transfers across them. Let's see if this finished. There we go. IBC transfer was a success. And now we have some TIA on the Celestia network, which we can use to stake. Sweet. So that's how you do an IBC transfer. But something else you can do in Cosmos that's pretty handy is you can actually make swaps directly within the Kepler wallet. Let's do that. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to swap some Atom on Cosmos Hub to Tia on Celestia. And this would work with all of these different chains, right? We're going to just use Tia as an example. Let's do 0 0.07 Atom. Okay, this is 60 cents, right? Maybe, maybe you are transferring that much. Normally, I wouldn't be moving around this small amount because you're going to get eaten up by transaction fees. But say you want to transfer this amount. You can also do it directly in the Kepler wallet. You see how it says swap Adam to Adam on Cosmos Hub to Tia on Celestia. Next. And approve. And I will say if you're using Cosmos, it's useful to know how to do the IBC send. However, just for vanilla transferring between networks, this can actually save you a lot of time. And let's see, swap is in progress. You can see here that it is doing what we just did. Cosmos Hub to Osmosis to Celestia. It's doing that on the back end but it's abstracting all of that away from me, for you. And, and this will take about one minute, but the ultimate result is going to be the same. And there it goes. Swap was a success. Now we have even more Tia over on Celestia. And so that's how you make an IVC transfer and, and make a swap within the Kepler wallet. And to learn more about the latest trends, tools, and on-chain analysis in crypto, check out my newsletter, dynamodefi.substack.com. For more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.